In the last few lectures, we learned what is a state, what is state management, why state management is required and where NGRX comes into picture. Now, in order to work with and understand NGRX in an Angular application, first we need to have an Angular application. So in this lecture, we are going to create an Angular project. In order to create an Angular project, you need to have two things installed on your machine. First, you need Node.js installed on your machine because when you install Node.js on your machine, with that, NPM CLI also gets installed. And using NPM CLI, we are going to install packages from NPM repository. And one of the package which we are going to install is the Angular CLI. This Angular CLI is the second tool which you need to install on your development machine. Using this Angular CLI, we are going to create an Angular project. We are going to run our Angular project in live development environment. And we will also use this Angular CLI to generate some boilerplate codes. So these two are the tools which you need on your development machine in order to create an Angular application. Now, in my case, I already have Node.js as well as Angular CLI installed on my machine. If you don't have Node.js installed on your machine, simply click on this download button. It is going to download an installer. Double click on that installer and follow the installation steps. Once the installation steps are followed and finished, it is going to install Node.js as well as NPM CLI on your development machine. Once the NPM CLI is installed, you need to open command prompt and from there you need to run npm install command to install angular cli and i will show you how you can do that in a bit now here first i'll go to command prompt and there i will show you which version of node.js and npm is installed on my machine and which version of angular cli is installed on my machine now to check which version of node.js is installed on my machine i can run this command node hyphen hyphen version if I press enter, it will return me the version of Node.js installed on my machine. In my case, Node.js version 18 is installed. In the same way, if I want to check which version of NPM CLI is installed on my machine, I can run npm hyphen hyphen version command. And if I press enter, it has returned me the version of the NPM CLI installed on my machine. And in my case, it is version 9. Now, once Node.js and NPM is installed on your machine. In order to install Angular CLI, you have to run npm install command. And using this npm install command, we can install this Angular CLI from NPM repository. And for that, you have to specify the package name. First of all, we want to install a package globally. So for that, we will use this hyphen G command and then we will specify the name of the package. So the package name is at angular slash CLI. And here, after the package name, you can also use this at symbol and you can specify the version of Angular CLI which you want to install. So for example, if you want to install Angular 16, you can specify 16 after this at symbol. And in that case, it will install Angular CLI version 16. If you don't specify anything in that case, the latest stable version will be installed. Now, for Angular, the latest version is Angular 19. But in this course, I'm not going to create an Angular 19 application. Instead, I'm going to create an Angular 16 application. But whatever we will learn in this course, that will also be applicable on Angular 17 and higher versions. Now, the reason why I'm not using the latest version of Angular for this course is because on my YouTube channel, I have already covered Angular 16 in great detail. But I do not have any course on Angular 17 or higher version. And if you know, from Angular 17, the Angular application uses standalone components by default. And there are other feature changes which has been introduced in Angular 17 and higher versions. But those concepts I have not covered yet in my Angular course. And that's why I am going to cover NGRX course using Angular 16. So that if I'm using any Angular 16 feature, and if you're not aware about that, you can simply go to my Angular 16 course and there you can search for that topic and understand it first before proceeding with the lecture in this course. So if you want to follow along with me in this course, then I'll suggest you to install Angular CLI version 16. 
So this is the command which you need to run in order to install Angular CLI version 16. Now for me, Angular CLI is already installed and to check which version of Angular CLI is installed on my machine, I can type ng version command. So whenever we want to run an Angular CLI command, we use this ng. Whenever we want to run an npm command, we use npm. Okay, so here ng version will give us the version of Angular CLI installed on my machine. If I press enter, you can see on my machine, Angular CLI version 16 is installed and Node.js version 18 is installed and also npm CLI version 9 is installed on my machine. So all those informations you can see here. All right, now let me clear the console here and now let's go ahead and let's create our Angular project. And I want to create my Angular project on desktop. So what I will do is first I'll move to desktop. So for that I'm using this cd command to change the directory and move to desktop folder. So now I'm on the desktop folder. Now in here I want to create a new Angular project. For that I can type ng new command. So again this ng new it is an Angular CLI command and it is used to create a new Angular project. Now here we also need to provide a name for the project. I'm going to call this project as angular underscore ngrx. Let's press enter and now it is going to ask us some questions. So first of all, it is asking if we would like to add angular routing also in our angular application. Here I'm going to type y and I'm going to press enter. Then it is asking which style sheet format we would like to use in our angular application. I prefer CSS, so I will select CSS, but if you want to use a CSS, you can use up or down arrow on your keyboard to select your preferred style sheet. But here, let me select CSS and let me press enter. And now what Angular CLI is going to do is, it is going to create a project folder for us. And in that project folder, it is going to create all the required files and folders of the Angular application. So you can see that it has created an Angular project for us and we have created that Angular project on the desktop. So if I go to desktop, there you will see that a new folder called Angular NGRX has been created and inside that we have all the project related files and folders. Now let me go ahead and let me open it in Visual Studio Code. So here I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as my code editor. Here, let's go to file, let's go to open folder and we have created our project on desktop. So I'll go to desktop and there the project name is angular underscore ngrx. So I'm going to select this folder and I'll click on this button select folder and it is going to open that project folder in VS code. All right. Now what I will also do is let's go back to command prompt and here let's clear this terminal and now i want to run this angular project in live development server for that in order to run the angular project which we have just created first we need to go to the project folder so for that let's say cd and the project folder name is angular underscore ngrx now i'm in that project folder from within this project folder we need to run ng serve command and what this command is going to do is it is going to compile our angular application okay it should be ng serve okay so this ng serve command it is going to compile our angular application it is going to generate some bundles and it is going to run that angular application in a live development server and it is going to give us the url where it is running that application so as you can see the application has been compiled successfully it has generated these bundles and the angular live development server is listening on localhost port number 4200 so here we can copy this url let's go to browser and there let me open a new tab and in the address bar let's paste that url so here this is how the angular application will look like whenever you create your angular application using angular cli so in this lecture we created our angular application 
Now in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's modify the look and feel of this Angular application and let's also add some components in our Angular application. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.